Those who have seen only the coast and cities of America have no idea of what the West is, which is a new world in the new world. There are sights of a wild, uncultivated kind, beauties of a world which seems to be in its cradle. When Mother Theodore Guerin set out from France with the mission to build a convent in the wilderness, it must have felt like an impossible undertaking. We found ourselves in the midst of a forest. No village, not even a house in sight. It is astonishing that this remote solitude has been chosen for a novitiate and especially for an academy. All appearances are against it. Mother Guerin and the five sisters who came with her remained. This daguerreotype is the only image that exists of Mother Guerin. But it is all we need. Her steady determination in the face of the daunting challenge is obvious. She posed for this photo in 1855, near the end of her life, after she had established St. Mary of the Woods Convent and Academy, grew her novitiate from six nuns to 80, and opened schools throughout southern Indiana. You will need to hold perfectly still for one minute. My Lord and venerated Father, when you sent your six daughters to St. Mary of the Woods, you never expected to see the fruits of your zeal crowned with so much success. This land is for me no longer the land of exile. It is the portion of my inheritance, and in it I hope to dwell all the days of my life. Its beauty surpasses all description. The rivers caress the islands they seem to carry with them in their course, and which look like floating nosegays. Animals of every kind are the quiet possessors of the woods and all stay willingly near the habitations of man. Wild Leonis climb up to the top of the loftiest trees and then fall down in festoons of every shape, only to begin again upon the ground a new life. How truly is this part of the globe named the New World? On the grounds of St. Mary of the Woods stands a little chapel, St. Anne's Chapel. Mother Theodore Guerin had it built in gratitude for her safe ocean passage from France. But really, it is a shrine to her new home. Hundreds of mussel shells, hand-picked from the Wabash River and carefully arranged, decorate its walls. <laughs> 